Hello YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. And for today's video, we're doing some Urban Outfitter dupes and these are really simple. You can do them all in under an hour. I feel like I'm always on the Urban website looking for items to buy, but then I end up seeing things that I could totally DIY and that's what kind of happened for this video. I was honestly just searching for some cute things that I could get. I knew that I could DIY each one of these pieces for a way affordable price and that's exactly what I did and I hope you guys like this because all the projects are just so freaking cute and as always all the materials will be listed down below I will try my best to do a price breakdown but since all the supplies I already kind of had or they're split between a set of items I will have to do some math and figure that out but for sure these are cheaper than the original and that's all that matters <laughs> now that I have that all covered let's jump into the first project Hello from VoiceOver Tina. For this first project, we're recreating these tapered candles at Urban Outfitters. So I'm just starting off with some plain tapered candles and you can really find these anywhere, including Dollar Tree. Then I'm gonna burn a scentless candle in the same color and the one that I'm using is actually an old pillar candle that I melted in a previous DIY. You can also use a tea light, which will work just fine. So I found these super cute tiny dried flowers on Amazon and they were perfect for this project. I will link these ones down below and they come in so many different colors. And alternatively, you could just press and dry your own flowers as well. So all I'm doing is taking a paintbrush and I'm just gonna dip that into my melted wax. And I'm just brushing that right onto the candle and then adding on my florals. The hot wax bonds the flower onto the candle and this is super easy to do. I also found that you could add a little bit of wax on top of the flowers and press it down, so I use a combination of these two techniques. The original candle only has one flower on it, but I decided to add on a couple more to add some interest. And that's all you really need to do for this project. You can add as many or as little flowers as you want, and it's super easy to do and doesn't take long at all. You can make a set of these or make four like the original set has, but this was just so fun and a little bit therapeutic for me to do as well. You can pop these candles into whatever holder you have and style it how you'd like. I think these just look so pretty and dainty. They add a really natural earthy touch to your decor and I just really love how they turned out. So I saw that there was actually a lot of pressed flower decor on Urban Outfitters site, so I decided to do one more quick and easy project with them. And all you need is a double glass wall frame. I got mine from Home Goods, and this one was very inexpensive, but looks so gorgeous on its own already. I will link a few other frame options down below in case you're looking for another size or another style of these. Then I'm adding in my photos with a little tape on the back, and the frame that I have is actually made for three instant photos, so I just pop those right on in. Next, I'm going to lay out all my pressed flowers right on top and I'm just going to keep it minimal with the white colored flowers and just arrange them until I'm happy. The original Urban Outfitters frame is actually a DIY because they provide the frame with some pressed florals and when I saw this piece, I thought that you could totally recreate the same thing at just a fraction of the price and as a DIYer, I feel like I'm always looking at things and figuring out how I can DIY it, especially if the project is going to be more affordable than actually purchasing it from the store. So I will always choose the DIY route and this one is just so simple and easy to do. Once you're happy with the placement, you can just close the frame back on up and it's ready to be on display. I love that you can personalize this frame with your own photos and different flowers, and you can totally choose to glue the flowers in, but since I did not, it's just the perfect way to change out the photos and the flowers whenever you'd like to. And I was also thinking that this would be such a special gift, especially if you're looking for some last minute gift ideas. So definitely try out this project if you haven't already. So I saw this pom-pom garland on the Urban Outfitters site for $24 and I knew that I had to DIY it. I just have so much yarn and I've been a little bit obsessed with pom-poms. So this was the perfect project to make a bunch of pom-poms and use as decor. If you watched my gift wrapping video, you saw that I used a pom-pom maker and the one that I bought comes with four different sizes and also a pair of little scissors. And I like the scissors, but when creating bigger pom-poms, I think it's better to use your own normal scissors. 
Since I want the pom-poms to be quite large, I'm going to use the green one for this set. To begin, I'm using four different colored yarns in the same thickness and texture, and I found it easiest just to cut the yarn ahead of time. So I'm cutting each one about one and a half to two feet long, and this definitely does not have to be an exact measurement, but I wanted it to be long enough to wrap around multiple times. So first I'm opening one side of the pom-pom maker and I'm not quite sure what this is actually called so I'm going to refer to it as an arm but what I'm going to do is just to wrap my first piece of yarn a couple of times and you'll notice that I'm leaving a little bit of a gap and then I'm going to wrap it until I get to the other side. Then going in with another color of yarn I'm going to fill in those gaps and just wrap it around until it fills up the whole thing. This definitely does not have to be perfect and there's no pattern that I'm really creating. I'm just making sure that there's enough coverage and kind of wrapping it a little bit randomly so we can have a cool pattern. So I'm basically just going to repeat this step with all the colors, just wrapping it around, leaving some gaps, and then just layer in all the colors until this side gets super full. And if there are any loose ends as you're wrapping, it's totally fine because we could snip those off later. I also wanted to mention that you definitely don't need a pom-pom maker to make pom-poms. There are so many different ways that you can create it with things at home. So I'll link some other tutorials for them in the description box below. So this is how this arm is looking like. I know it's a little bit messy right now, but that is totally fine. Then I'm gonna open up the other side of the pom-pom maker and repeating the same exact steps on this side as well. And again, there really is no right or wrong way to do this. You could just have fun here and create cool patterns by layering the yarn however you'd like. All right, now that both sides are full, it's time to cut the yarn. So I'm just gonna go down the middle of the rounded edge and cutting through all of the layers. And since this is quite thick, I would recommend using a big, sharp pair of scissors. After that, I'm gonna use another piece of yarn to tie it all together. And here I'm using orange, since that's the same color that I want to string all of them together later. And you can see that I'm just slipping it through this gap and then creating a tight knot in the middle. And I like to create two knots just in case. Now you can go ahead and open the arms of the pom-pom maker and you can see how fluffy it is. I also like to take this time to cut down any pieces that are super long. Then all you need to do is to pull the pom-pom maker apart and now you have your cute little pom-pom. And if it looks a little bit uneven, you can go ahead and just cut it down so that it's nice and round. And basically, I'm just gonna repeat this process nine more times to create 10 pom-poms in total. I really like this technique because you can create so many cool multicolored pom-poms, and there are actually so many different patterns that you can create with pom-poms. I've seen ones that are half and half, spotted ones, and I've even seen a video on how someone created cheetah print pom-poms, and I will link some of those videos down below in case you guys are interested. After getting the hang of it, it takes less than 10 minutes to create, so depending on how many you want on your garland, you can totally finish this project while watching a movie or a show, which is what I did. Okay, now that I have all my pom-poms, it's time to string them together, and I'm just gonna cut out a very long piece of yarn that's around nine feet long, and all I'm gonna do to attach them is just to tie them along the piece of yarn by double knotting it. To make it as even as possible, I spaced them about six and a half inches apart. And now my pom-pom garland is done. I am so happy with how it came out. I think the color combo is so cute, but of course you can make this in whatever color palette you'd like. You can add it to a shelf, an archway, on top of a headboard, or you could also hang it vertically on a wall as wall art. This is such a fun and quirky way to dress up any area of your home, and I just love how whimsical it looks. So those were all the projects for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. If you guys caught my last video, I did make an air dry clay candle holder, and just putting the candle that I made in this video into that candle holder, it is honestly the perfect Urban Outfitters dupe because I've seen candle holders that are very similar. Does this not look like it belongs at Urban Out- oh, pfft. Okay, so this does not look like it belongs at Urban Outfitters. It's so cute. I just love the whole vibe of this and I'm so happy that it took under 15 minutes. Honestly, it probably took under 15 minutes to create each one of those pieces. So you could totally create that set in under 30 minutes, which is really awesome. If you have any other suggestions of things that I could recreate, whether it's from Urban Outfitters or not, I'm always up to the challenge to figure out how to DIY something. So let me know down below. I cannot believe that Christmas is this week and the year is almost over. Like, how did that happen? That went by so fast. 
I quickly just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot believe how much growth we have seen over this past year. So thank you so, so much for being here. I'm so grateful for this little community that we have here on YouTube. And as always, I'm so grateful for everyone's support. And whenever I say that to you guys in the comments down below, know that I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. So thank you guys so much. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for new videos every single week. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I'm posting so many fun reels over there. So go ahead and give me a follow. And that is it for today's video. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.